Hi there, this is Albert Pinto once again with you. Welcome to my channel. Well, today's tutorial is data error in search console. Users do not have sufficient permission for site. Well, this issue arises when you have installed the most valuable Google Site Kit plugin. Well, nothing to panic about, let's solve it. There are two methods in this video and I will show you both these methods step by step. So follow me. Before that, hey man, you are the boss. If you like this video, please give me some boost, some motivation by liking and subscribing to my channel. Well, you decide on that. So without wasting any time, without any more hanky panky, let's get moving. Thanks for watching. Learn with Learn with Albert Pinto technical tips via tutorial. Well, I am into the dashboard of WordPress and that is the issue that I have in uh, SiteKit. Data error in search console. Well, let's go. Uh, uh, to Google search console let us type that Google search console well you have it there already so let's click on the first link and start now click on that well you can see here I already have the uh, site in Google search console verified I will remove that one and I will show you see I already have it as owner verification I will remove it by clicking on clicking on the property remove property and I will try to re uh, verify I will try to re-verify the site again let me copy the link just to show you stories of love and hit copy let's go back to google search console and click on add property and let's paste it paste that remove the slash and the ww delete that fine and continue wait for the verification well I need to verify this one so I have already I mean my DNS servers are uh, uh, handled by Cloudflare so I will have to sign in to Cloudflare and copy the Google site verification code in there so I'm already into the Cloudflare I have signed already let me click on the DNS scroll down a bit click on add records in the name section you write the name of your domain or subdomain in my case it's a subdomain so I write the name of my site then in the type section we have to look for text txt click on that and in the content section we will have to bring in the google verification code so let's get go back there and copy the google verification code it's copied let's go back to cloudflare and place it into the content paste it well after you have done that you can click on save well you can see we already have uh, inserted the google verification code now let us try to verify it click on verify and you can see it has been already verified we go back to property and you can see it is already in there 
so this was one method and let us check now if the problem is solved or not let us refresh that well no it has not been solved it is still there So now what we have to do is we will go to Sidekit and we will go into the settings. Click on settings. And then you go to your admin settings. Click on that. And here what we have to do is we have to reset Sidekit. So we click on reset. Mm, resetting will disconnect all your users and remove all site kit blah 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 so leave all that click on reset give a second please it has been done and still under process checking the compatibility well it has been already done so we will sign in again with google we will do the same process as we had done it before while installing the site kit so we need to verify the site again right so we will sign in with google and use use the same email id which you have done earlier right after entering the email i click on next i'll put my password and then i click again on next well that verification code i will get on my mobile well it has been verified now i you have to allow click on allow because you are giving access like you have done before you know that welcome to sidekit let's get you set up well congratulations blah blah go to my dashboard well we have we are already connected to such console now you can see there and uh, let's check well now we have to connect to adsense also and then to analytics and then to page speed insights let's connect to adsense choose your email the same one allow the access still connecting give a moment please well it has already been done right we click on continue you know you have to place the ad sense ad code you must have done already before so nothing to worry about click on continue click again on continue well it's connected so let's click uh, i mean connect the analytics part also this is where we were having the problem of connection follow the same process allow give a moment there please configure analytics click on that
and it has been connected well you have the analytics already and you can see our problem has been solved well it's solved so let us connect the last thing connect the uh, connect to page speed also and it has been connected already well I hope we have solved our problem and very easily too hi once again we have come to the end of the tutorial I hope this video has help and will solve your problems and until we meet again with another video well do not forget to subscribe to my channel once more i'm reminding you right take care my friend i see you until uh, with another video you take care and bye bye